So when we talk about family with our clients, one of the things that we want to emphasize is that you as the financial professional are a resource for whoever's most important to them. One of the things that I see mm -hmm. go wrong is when financial professionals position the family phone call, for example, as, hey, this is for your kids. Well, maybe clients didn't have kids. Maybe there's really complicated family dynamics. Not to mention, we don't want to limit ourselves to their sister-in-law, who's a C-suite executive in Chicago, their brother, who's in California, owns a business. So like you're saying, we want to position this as we, as your financial professionals, care about the people and things that are important to you. By extension, that means that whoever's most important to you get access to us by extension. The family phone call is the introduction. Beyond that, maybe they get access to a 20-minute ask anything session on demand, but that's where you open up going up the family tree. And to your point, I, I was in California not too long ago, and we're at a lunch, and one of the finance professionals, <clears throat> excuse me, who joined us, she was really excited to share this story with me. She said, yeah. Um, I hosted a client event when my clients came, she was then talking to her parents about the event. And in that conversation, her parents said, wow, your financial professional hosts event does different things. We don't remember the last time we heard from our financial professional. We'd really love to talk to yours. So similar, like the opportunity up the family tree, just because they're, they might have a relationship with a financial professional doesn't mean it's the right one. But also to your point, and I'm kind of going a little bit off tangent, um, but the wealth that exists up the family tree that's going to be transferred, and it's not a wealth transfer that's going to happen. It's happening now. We had a team in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. They onboarded the daughter and son-in-law of one of their biggest clients because the son-in-law received almost an eight-figure inheritance from his grandparents. And why would they go try to find any other advisor if you are the one who already reached out to them? And where we see people missing, this is another statistic that I find crazy. Um, so really did a study last fall. They found that only 19% of assets were staying with the parents' financial professional. So only 19% staying. Now, 81% going into motion. It's not all going to another financial professional. You know it's going to buy a boat buy a house, pay down debt, maybe a DIY strategy. But in that, you know, the reason that number is so high is if you are the financial professional reaching out after mom and dad, after grandma, grandma passed away, and you're reaching out to me, who at that point is probably in my 50s and 60s, well, that message sounds like, hey, I care about you now because you have the money. And I don't know any client that wants to start a relationship with a financial professional that me, 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 I only care about you now because I know you have assets. Okay, so I always thought you were a subject matter expert, but <laughs> you've clearly upped your game to another level. Like you, you say so much in so little time. I'm, I'm trying to keep up just by taking notes. Uh, first of all, that comment uh, regarding that trip to California, and I, you know, I can't remember the last time my advisor even called me, let alone offered value. Everybody needs to remember, from a thought leadership perspective, there is impact just in your client receiving your content, not even necessarily acting on it, just triggering totally. the moment of recognition and just going, wow, this is value added. I actually value. They might not, they might kick the can down the road, but then now you've given them something to talk about to a friend or a family member that, that creates that wedge moment where the, the friend's like, that's what your advisor delivers. I, I, it never even occurred to me that that was possible. So that's profound. Your point about it's happening. It's so true. Like the, the old saying that incrementalism, things happen gradually, then suddenly, like it's gradually happening right now and, and gathering steam, like nothing stops this tsunami of momentum. <laughs>